Welcome to this question about linear programming and graphing inequalities. Uh, before we start, this is not my own question, I did not create it, um, so we have to give credit to Cambridge Examinations for providing us with this question, okay? We are just here uh, to solve it. Okay, this is part two, yeah? For part one of this question, we created these four inequalities, okay? X big or equal to three, Y big or equal to two, X plus Y had to be smaller or equal to nine, and three X plus seven Y smaller or equal to 42. Okay, let's have a go. On the grid now, draw the four lines, yeah, one, two, three, four, uh, to show the four inequalities and shade the unwanted regions, okay? So that is important, shading the unwanted regions, because sometimes you have to shade the wanted regions, or sometimes you have to leave the unwanted regions unshaded, yeah, or whatever. So you really have to read that carefully, but now we have to shade the unwanted regions, okay. Let's start with the first one, and this is for seven points, guys. So, yes, there is some work involved, but not too difficult. X big or equal to three. Now, that is the vertical line where X is three all the time. <clears throat> That's over here. Now, because it's also equal to three, we will just draw a normal line. Yeah, because we realize if it would be X only bigger than three, then we would have to do a dotted line, yeah? But in this case, bigger and equal to three, so we can draw a normal line, okay? Now, you should be able to do a better job than I am on this screen, yeah? So you take your, your ruler and a sharp pencil, and I try to do that the best I can, and that's the vertical line, there we go. All right, we shade the unwanted region. We're interested in bigger, so here X is bigger, so we're not interested in smaller. So I'm gonna shade the unwanted region, which is on this side. Okay, moving on to the next one. Y big or equal to two. So that is the, the horizontal line where Y is two. Okay, and again, it's also equal to two. So it's a normal, yeah, a normal line if you like, no dots. So I'm gonna try the best I can. I put, I put actually a ruler now on my screen, but I can't see properly if I am on the correct line. Yeah, I am. There we go. Okay, that's the line y equals two. Um, we're interested in bigger than two, so that is all bigger than two, eh? y is bigger than two. So shading the unwanted region, I'll shade less than two. There we go. Okay, this is exactly what I'm expecting to happen. Eh? The next one, x plus y, smaller or equal to nine. Now you can rearrange this equation if you like in gradient intercept form. Yeah, or perhaps uh, you'll learn that that line will look like this. Yeah, from nine to nine, eh? because when x is zero, yeah, when x is zero, y is gonna be nine, and when y is zero, x is gonna be nine. Anyway, you do whatever you were told to do, whatever you think is easiest or makes sense to you. Anyway, that's this line. That's not too bad. Anyway, uh, we are interested in smaller, yeah, so we're interested in smaller, so we're going to shade the part which is bigger, okay? So over here, we're gonna shade it like that. And please stay within the grid, okay? So we are shading it like this. There we go. Last one, yeah, uh, perhaps the most difficult looking one because they're all the same, eh? 3x plus 7y, smaller or equal to 42. Again, or equal, eh? same here, by the way. So just a normal line. Uh, let, let, let's find some uh, evaluated for two uh, proper points. Uh, for instance, when x is zero, what is y going to be? So when x is zero, so three times zero is zero. So seven y smaller or equal to 42. Hopefully you realize that y is smaller or equal than to six. So let me plot that point. When x is zero, y is six. So that's gonna be over there. Let's do one more point. Perhaps you see when x is 14, so three times 14 plus seven y smaller or equal to 42, because three times 14 is actually 42. So then you have, and I don't really have a space to do that here. Um, well, I can do a little line like that. So then I have seven y smaller or equal to 42 minus 42. Yes, yeah, so I'm rearranging it. I'm taking away the 42 here. So I'm gonna do that on the right side as well. So y smaller or equal to zero. Anyway, so that when x is 14, y is zero. Just find two points uh, so you're able to draw that line. And I found mine 
and perhaps you want to find a third one just to make sure you didn't make a silly mistake. But anyway, that's the line. There we go. And we are interested in smaller. So we're interested in below the line. So now I'm going to shape everything above the line. Okay, so we have to shape this part because the rest is already shaded. Yeah, so I'm just going to clearly shape this. That was shaded for another line. Yeah, so we are left now. Let me just highlight that with this quadrilateral here in the middle. And I'm going to use my ruler for that. So there we go. And there we go. And with linear programming, you always have this quadrilateral or triangle sometimes left in the middle somewhere. Eh? Okay, so that's seven points, guys. Seven points. You don't have to shape that. Eh? You don't have to highlight it at the end. But I just want to do that so you understand what we've been doing. Okay, the last question now. Calculate the smallest costs when Peter buys a total of nine trees. Okay, so they tell you he's buying nine trees. And what is the smallest amount of money he can uh, he has to pay for that? Well, perhaps you remember of the previous uh, part, yeah, that uh, the x-axis, yeah, so the horizontal axis, were the plum trees. Let me just put it up there. Those were the uh, plum trees. What is that? With a B, I think. Yeah? And Y were the apple trees. Okay, and the plum trees in the previous question, they were six dollars each, and the apple trees, uh, for one apple tree, it was fourteen dollars. Let me just put it there. Okay, so of course, yeah, so the smallest cost, we want to have more plum trees than apple trees, simply because they are cheaper. Okay, so we want to have again m more plum trees than apple trees. He's buying a total of nine trees. Okay, so. Where is he buying nine trees? Well, for instance, if I look at this point, yeah, then he's buying three plum trees and one, two, three, four, yeah, four and a bit. That's not even possible, is it? But that's not going to be a total of nine trees. So where is he buying nine trees? So those are the points you've got to find. Uh, well, for instance, at six and three. So if I just put a bit of a dot there, at six and three, he is buying nine trees. Uh, five and four, but I think that's just going to be a little bit less than four. He's also buying nine trees, but also seven and two. And considering I just said I want to have more plum trees yeah, than apple trees, so my X needs to be bigger compared to my Y, I think this is my winning point. Yeah. So he's going to buy seven plum trees and he's going to buy two apple trees. Okay, because that is in total nine trees, and that's going to be the least amount of money he's going to pay. Yeah? So you just got to find the proper points where, first of all, he buys nine trees, and then you want to have your X as big as possible and your Y as small as possible, and that is going to be over there. Again, that's seven, two, where seven is greater than two. Okay, and then, but okay, how much is he going to pay? So seven plum trees, so seven times six, yeah? six dollars, and two of those apple trees and they are 14 dollars uh, each so that is um what is that 42 plus 28 so that is going to give me a total of 70 dollars okay so that will be the answer to part e so that is a typical linear programming question yeah, where we have all these conditions it has to meet and then we can answer a particular question like so what is the smallest cost for Peter, yeah? so it's going to meet all these different conditions, yeah, and then um, yeah, the graph will help us to answer that question. Okay, hopefully that was useful. Check my site explainingmaths.com uh, for more free resources, and you can ask me your question if you have any. You can also find me on Facebook and Twitter. Yeah, like and share this video with your friends, alright, if it was useful, so I can help them too. Okay, have a very pleasant day. Bye bye.